Hello everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message, I'm going to be tuning into the Divine Feminine Collective Energies and if you would like a personal reading or to inflame coaching, please check the description box below. And we can jump straight in with the first card. Feminine reading, Divine Masculine card. Yeah, you are my man. And... I am completely in love with you. Your twin flame is an energy, a person within the core of your being. You manifest me by loving yourself, inviting the divine in and making your life new. You've probably been investing in yourself for quite some time now. You've taken responsibility for your journey. I'm afraid I'm not responsible for your feelings, but you are responsible for working through them just like I'm responsible for my own stuff, where you completely heal through something, it's no longer there and you can let go of it. Awakening. This is a very masculine energy here. Creative thought is illuminating conscious awareness with sunny vibration and happiness. Success is awakening. Allow your own sunny nature to shine. Positive ideas inspire your hopes. Inner strength awakens, giving you energy to move beyond your fears and create a strategy for finding or deepening love. Look inward and outward to see how attitudes are affecting your life and relationships. Are there corners of your being where you can let in more sunny, positive energy? What specific steps can you take to brighten your day and let more warmth and light into your life? Others are attracted to this energy and if you cultivate it within yourself, I'll be wildly, even more attra wildly attracted to you than I am now. This is a favourable omen for romance and creative self-expression. Opportunities are being illuminated, but it's up to you to notice and take advantage of them. Our journey into togetherness will take a lighter and brighter turn. Or we may decide to create some sort of a tangible miracle together. Fiery radiance and strength of mind. You have the qualities to accomplish your goals. Positive, happy vibrations, sunny, warm hearted energy, airing emotions through internal and external communication will help you understand the parameters for building the romantic foundation for the future. When you can identify struggle with struggles in a light hearted way that playfully invites working through them. It reduces the odds that you'll get caught up in them. You will survive all pain from past loss and difficult emotional stages in your life as life unfolds in pleasant ways. Restless, fiery affairs of the heart need to be grounded in practical reality. Expansive healing energy opens your being to fun, pleasure, and touch. Stop looking at roadblocks to love and create visions of finding satisfaction and happiness. Dust off your self-confidence because you may have to initiate. More acceptance of your body's perfection allows you to be comfortable with yourself. Fashioning a sexier you inspires willingness and confidence to attract love to you. dropping everything. I know I screwed things up and I honestly have no idea how to fix it. Well, I'm, doing, I'm being hard on myself here and just beating myself up here. I may have felt like I've screwed things up because I didn't do things right before, but it's okay to not to know then what we know now. It's okay to have grown in our love for one another.
And this requires presence with uh, me being present with myself and you being present with yourself. If there's any part of you now that feels not showing up for by me, you'll be upset because you're not showing up for yourself there. And so then I can't show up for you. No one can take your love away. Your love is here and now. Not with me, but with the divine. Choose to let the divine love you in this place. Choose for the divine to be enough. Let the divine fill you up so you feel fully loved. There's never any lack of love. The divine is here from the moment you call her in. Whenever you become aware that you need love, remember divine love is here. Feel the blessed relief. Six of Swords, tranquility ahead. So you, there may still be, you may still be in choppy waters as you move through them. But there is peace ahead, there is calmness ahead, there is relaxation ahead. Embrace your emotions, feel your feelings and allow them to surface and be accepted. Listen with your heart. It's always the divine first. You have to have a relationship with the divine before you can have a relationship with your twin flame. Choose to see the illusions for what they are. Don't go outside to try to fix things because that is putting the love outside of yourself. Nothing gets fixed on the outside. Go deeper. Surrender any frustration. Really feel like you trust the divine enough to do it for you. Know that the divine has got you. It's okay to be cautious, it's okay to be sh shy, it's okay to be a little bit unsure. Building this trust is a process. Pushing back is okay. When we're not with the divine, it doesn't feel smooth or aligned. That in itself tells us we don't like it. Anything done with the divine feels good and peaceful. And that becomes the way to know that you are with the divine. You're rooting out all the discomfort. The journey is about finding where the opposite is so you can move through it. So choose your deeper connection with the divine right now to be more present with yourself, showing up more for yourself, less abandonment of the self. Don't give power to the illusion. Remember that you're one with love and you don't recognize any illusion. You already have all the answers that you seek. It's already within you. And that feels really good. Mirroring. So I'm only ever mirroring the love that you're giving to yourself. It's not about waiting for your good to come in. You don't have to do that. It's just about being readiness to receive your good. So choose to be ready. And work through any misaligned feelings, feelings that are not aligned with that readiness that may come up. And bring love to those places. The choice to be ready is one thing. And it's quite another how you feel about being ready to receive. Make the choice, work the process and manifest the result. Don't brush away any uncomfortable thing. You don't want to be kept waiting for your good. You matter. Reassure yourself of how much you matter to the divine. Wisdom. So you're being asked to really go deep into your in, deeper into your intuition and that may be more difficult for our Divine Masculine to do because they're not brought up to do that. It's not something that you do, but it's okay. Feel that space with love, call in greater peace. Everything you're doing is a lesson, it's something to heal through. Yeah, another issue that the masculine has is is a belief that making oneself vulnerable and allowing themselves to be in love means that a tragedy manifests and that those romantic notions are pipe dreams, like they're going to be pushed under a train. How do you feel about your own love story right now? Do you feel like it's a brief holiday that won't last? I am sorry I haven't told you that I love you.
Yeah, I have not been good at expressing how I feel for the same reason. I was afraid that if I make myself vulnerable, I'll get hurt. Or the moment I express my love, I'd get abandoned. It's the same block that we both got. It's the same issue that we're working through, but we're working through it together. Now, we're, this is the end of bad romance. This is the end of romance that goes wrong. The collective is clearing deep intimacy and deep heart blocks. That's another thing we're working through, blocks to intimacy. Or what does self-intimacy really mean? Have you disco been discovering a new way of seeing and new perspectives in this area? Self-intimacy is all about being fully present with all of yourself and being able to love yourself, the internal you, no matter what you present as. Because when you can do that for yourself, you can do that with me, with your twin flame. Because otherwise, if we want our twin flames in our lives and we want all the good stuff, it's not sustainable because it's not grounded. We have to do the dirty work as well. We have to ground and integrate every upleveling of energy so that we can sustain our union. Because when our union comes in, we're going to want to keep it for good. And that's it for this message, I reckon. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.